have a special guest all the way from Obodo Ibo TV. <laughs> if you follow my sister Bridget here, you will remember in her Q&A, she said that her 13-year-old son's friend, her son's name is Toby <laughs> and his friend's name is Toby too. So Toby's friend, Toby, Toby. <laughs> requested that you make a noodles recipe for him. So let's welcome Sister Bridget to the channel. Hi. Yay! Hi guys! Hi! <laughs> Welcome to All Nigeria Recipe. My name is Bridget Epo. I'm a YouTuber as well and my channel is called Obodo Oyibo TV. For those of you who follow me, you know that I promised I was going to make a Nigerian uh, noodles um, recipe for my son who is 13 and his friend Toby who is 13 as well. Uh, so I've come all the way from the UK yeah, to yeah. Espania. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do it. I didn't just want to do it in any how kitchen. I didn't oh. want to do it in my kitchen because I'm not oh. a cook. I'm not a cook, oh. you know. I do talk, talk, talk. That's all I do. <laughs> but this is the queen of all Nigerian recipes. Oh. So I decided to come to her kitchen. Yeah. I am so privileged oh. to be here. Yeah. This is royalty. YouTube royalty. <laughs> <laughs> and you are in solving oh. all our problems oh. since 19 Oh my God. I am so excited, guys. So I decided to come to the greatest kitchen for all Nigerian recipes. To come and make these noodles for this 13 year old because I take my request very seriously. Oh, so I'm making a plate. I have a plate and <laughs> come here. Come here. So to make to noodles. fulfill one request. That's how, how serious when I When my own request comes, we have to go to the room no? <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, look, we've done a lot of vlogs and videos, so be sure to. Keep it locked down on all Nigeria recipe and come to my channel yes. as well. Go to my channel the link. Check out. We had a very <laughs> we had some very meaningful conversation. So we'll put a link. We'll to type the link on this yes, video. Yes, I'll put the link to that video and here, here, right yeah. here now. So Click run it. over there to come and watch yeah. all of them. Click Thank it. you all so much. And then yeah, let's get cooking. The yeah, yeah. Nigeria recipe yeah, kitchen, yeah. <laughs> the world's best kitchen for Nigeria recipes. <laughs> <laughs> so. To prepare Nigerian noodles, I'm going to be using two noodles, two pack of noodles. I was using two um, um, tomatoes, two eggs, two mushrooms, and um, half onion. And I've got um, green peas there because I like uh, vegetables on my, I like um, vegetables on my noodles. And then I use some of this condiment here, and two tiny carrots. And then I'll be using this. Uh, I'll be using. Or olive oil or granite oil, or any oil, or sunflower oil, whichever one that you use normally. I've already prepared, I've already cut them. I finished cutting them already. So you have, you've got the uh, carrots here, you've got the mushroom, onions, and then you've got the tomatoes. So I'm just gonna get into it and start frying. So what I do is I put my, I put water, about um, a liter of water. Is it liter? I don't know how to measure these things. So. What do you this call it? It's about two cups of water, okay. one and a half cups. Okay, so I put like about one and a half cups of water onto the pot and allow it to boil before putting in my noodles. But while I'm waiting for it to boil, I'm going to start frying my other condiments I'm going to put inside. So I just put a little bit like a teaspoon of oil, not too much because we are trying to eat healthy now. So that's it there. So that's the oil. I allow it to heat a bit. So my water has boiled. I boiled it on medium heat. So now that it's boiling, I open up my pot and then I put in the noodles that I've cut open. So I just put it in. I don't put the the, um, the chili sauce or the seasoning immediately. I just put the noodles first. Okay. Um, put it in. Make sure it's absorbing water while you put it in. Because if it doesn't absorb water, some of it is going to get soft and the other bit will not get soft. Mm. So you find out that you have some of them hard and some of them soft. So let's make sure everything is enmeshed in water, in the boiling water. And then you cover it and boil it on low heat for about two minutes or a minute, one minute. Yeah, one minute. Okay. So while that is going on, while that is, um, while I'm leaving it to boil, I start frying the other ingredients that I have. I start with onions, because we always have to start with onions, because onions is flavor. 
but we're not going to use. And I like to fry for a few minutes just to get it a bit brown because these other ones fry quickly. So I put the onions and I put carrots because the carrots are a bit hard, so you don't want it to be too hard. So you put the carrots as well. But mushroom and tomatoes are soft already, so I put that last. So I stir, I just stir. Looking very gorgeous already. Mm -hmm. I like the color. Yeah. So I leave it to fry for about a minute. I check up on my noodles. Yeah, so noodles is cooking nicely. Um, yeah, it's cooking very nicely. So now I can open up the seasoning. Yeah, the seasoning. Let's just increase the. Let's increase the, the heat a bit, okay. just a bit. To medium. Yeah. Okay. It was on low. It was on low. Now you increase it because it's all gone in now. So I'm putting in the seasoning. So I put the pepper. I think one of them is the pepper and the other one is the seasoning. I just get it in there. Yeah. Oh, but oh, evil. And I did the second <laughs> one. <laughs> I mean, noodles is like the basic. This is, this is your this second is, culinary. This, this is cooking. the basic, basic food that <laughs> anybody can cook, really. Yeah. But I mean, we are teaching a kid how to cook. Yeah. I would want to encourage our children to learn cooking. So now, let me spare this for you. Yeah. So yeah, I'm happy. I mean, for a 13 year old, you might not be able to do all the prep for all the vegetables and the carrots. But I mean, if you want to cook it straight away, this is just the way to do it. Mm. You just put it in the pot, put the seasoning. You close and that's it. So now back to our onion. Then I want to brown. Brown. Want to hide it? Yeah. So I'm hiding it now. Yeah. So I put in the the peas, I've got the peas here. Ooh. Look at that! It makes it colorful like, <laughs> like it's fried rice I'm cooking or something. Oh my god! Uh, anyway, yeah. Then I put uh, the seasoning that I want to put. Just, just a little because this has got seasoning already. The noodles have got seasoning, so you don't want to put too much seasoning into it because then it will, it will not taste well. It will not taste nice. Open the lock cube and just use one. Mm -hmm. I'm using just one. I can't use two because it's gonna to be too much. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I just use one. Squeeze it in. And stir. Stir properly. Tomatoes, uh, fresh tomatoes tend to have a bit of uh, water mm. in them, so I usually try to dry the water out, but sometimes, and then I put the tomatoes and mushroom inside. Keep stirring. Leave it to cook for two more minutes. I check on my noodles. Yeah, it's almost dry now. The water is almost dry. Always ensure that you don't put too much water because it gets soggy. Mm. So, depending on the quantity of noodles you are cooking, just measure the water to just 
Passa com os copos também, se você está aí. Com os copos. Então, o que eu estou esperando para fazer? Eu vou break my. Eu vou break my. I bet the two eggs. I'm using just two eggs. Some people don't like eggs. Some children don't like eggs. So if you don't like eggs, you don't have to. Any of these uh, ingredients is optional, depending on how you like it. But I like fried eggs, so I'm just using fried eggs. Whisk. So are you a fork or a spoon person when it comes to whisking an egg? I use fork normally, but I you mean, do. it's two eggs, so ah. no biggie. <laughs> it's no biggie. I am a spoon person. Are you the spoon person? Because I believe that spoons do a better job. Guys, really? tell me, who, which one are you? Spoon or fork for whisking eggs? And spoon. why? Whisking this one, I can tell that spoon is doing a good job. Oh, oh. spoon is doing a better job, right? Yes. Oh, yes. I won't lie. It is. Oh. That's not mine. Because the spoon has that curvy end that beats the hell out of the eggs. <laughs> but we're taught to use fork. Isn't yeah, it? but it doesn't work. Don't forget to stir so it won't burn. <laughs> so it's almost ready now. So I just add, I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt on my egg. So I just add just very little salt. We are trying not to eat salt too much. Let's go. Because of all the risk, high blood pressure and all that, so just a little. And then, yeah, it goes in. Let me see. Look at that. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. Let's look at that. It's looking so colorful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And you can eat this alone for yeah, breakfast. You can, yeah, you can yeah. eat that alone for breakfast. You can eat it with bread, you know. Yeah. Noodles is ready, so we take it out, the heat out. We we'll take it from the heat because it's dry now. We don't want it to burn. All Nigerian recipe pots are the best pots in the world. <laughs> I don't want to come from London and burn her pots. <laughs> so we we'll take it out and turn the heat off. Yeah. And the thing I always forget when I'm cooking sometimes is that when you use this electric cooker, sometimes you you, you leave it there when you turn it off. No. No. Remember yeah, that still enough heat, heat here heat to cook. There. To boil an egg, yeah, <laughs> the heat there will just yeah. burn it, so always be mindful of that. Yeah, so this is the final, this is the final thing you need to do just stir together. You stir, give it a good stir to ensure that the egg is well cooked. Mm. Some people like half cooked eggs, but we Africans generally like. Very cooked, well, properly cooked food. So, you know, it's half cooked or half done. Just there. Make sure that all the eggs is cooked. I want you to sure that all the eggs is fried. I need it for. Leave it for a few seconds. We need to put all the legs together. And then it goes in there. Good. See how colorful it looks. Oh mm -hmm. my god. This looks nice. Mm -hmm. mm. There are a million ways to cook noodles. Yeah. I've never seen this one, I bet. You haven't? No. Ah, okay. There's always a different. I can never get tired of. So you can learn ways to you that is the teacher, you can learn. Mm, that's a good teacher. Good teachers are opening to learning. There was a time I, I talked about this, like like that if I start a YouTube channel on just noodles, mm. we will never get tired. We'll yeah. never run out of recipes. Ways. There yeah. are so many ways. Yeah, so this is the final bit. You pour the you pour your the sauce that you fry, you put it in and just mix in. That's it. That's it. Your noodles is ready. Wow. Just mix in. You say like navy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it. Yeah. You don't see That's it. Yum. You taste. Yeah. Don't forget to taste. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to taste. I'll be your food taster Please today. Please taste. 
Flour, taste. Let me bring you a spoon. Mm -hmm. So taste. Mm -hmm. Right. I finished cooking my noodles here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, she's going to taste. Flo is going to taste and tell us. And yes. tell you guys how I did. Yes. She's my teacher. The I'm moment the of truth. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, it looks great. Oh my god. Yeah, Look at it that. does. It does. Look. And then. <laughs> Report card. <laughs> Two thumbs up for the smell. <laughs> Mm. Then. Anticipation, waiting, waiting, waiting. Mm. How does it taste? <laughs> How did I do? Give me my reports. Two thumbs up. I'm not saying this because she's over there, but I'm not saying that because she's standing right beside me. <laughs> no, honestly, this is good. Mm. Yeah, okay. Guys, let me taste it. Yeah, so noodles. This is Nigerian noodles for you. Um, mm. Yeah, I cooked it differently. Like I said, you can, I mean, you can choose to cook it any way you want. Whatever works yummy. for you. Yeah, well, it's yummy. This is the noodles recipe that a 13 year old can cook. Yeah. So tell me if you are watching, if you can't cook all the ingredients, just get your mom or your your uh, your brothers or sisters to cut 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 them up for you. Hmm. And then this is what you're gonna come up with. And if you can't put all this, don't worry, just cook it straight away and bring it out. Don't worry. This is uh, if it's too complex for you. So yeah. When you cook it, send us a photo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, photos are our share. Photos. The photo is my share. Yeah, when people cook in their homes, they send me a photo. That's evidence of what the food looks like, even though you don't know what it tastes like. Okay, so yeah, mm. we can. Madre mia, Ma that is so <laughs> yummy. Madre mia, <laughs> I'm going to wash it down with some more. Dance, dance, dance. That's what I do. Before I Where's the music now? Where's the music? In your head. <laughs> There's no music. Ah, okay. All right, yo. I play to Nigeria, my country. So be faithful, loyal, and honest. So serve Nigeria with all my strength. It's okay. <laughs> you don't enter on a ango. You don't even see Nigeria. It's music. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Let's end. Abby. When you finish dancing to no music, we can end it. Music <laughs> is always in my head. head. <laughs> music is in your head. Always. There's no music. Oh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my noodles and recipe on All Nigerian Recipe channel today. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to All Nigerian Recipe. Uh -huh. Come on, guys. What are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. This lady cooks everything food, anything food, both Nigeria and non Nigeria. She cooks oh, rishi, Oh, rishi, rishi. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't know my channel, you haven't subscribed, like I said, there's a few videos, very interesting topics that we've done here in Spain. So be sure to connect with me on Obodoyubo TV and catch up with all the juicy gist. Very interesting gist. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you soon again and in my channel. And uh, yeah. Thank you, Flo. Bye bye. You. bye. See you in Obodo Ibo TV channel. <laughs>